old Tom Rides here. Today I want to talk a little bit about moto camping. Um, after all, that's um, what I do a lot. It's, it's what I uh, really enjoy. And I thought I'd kind of go around and uh, talk a little bit about how I have my bike set up. Now, as some of you know, this is a 2008 WR250R. Uh, it's a small bike considered um, by those who do a lot of adventure traveling and are up on BMW 1200s and, and that type of thing. I consider them to be way too heavy. This bike uh, with the three gallon tank is just at uh, 300 pounds. Um, I generally carry in my luggage about 50 pounds. So my total bike weight um, without me on it is about 350 pounds. And I consider that reasonable. Um, as reasonable as I can make it anyways. The bike didn't cost me much that, that much. The luggage is it was not cheap, but the uh, which I'll go over in a little bit. Um, but it is well worth the expense um, just for the practicality of it. So anyways, this is this is generally what the bike looks like when it's set up. I've got my luggage going, I've got my tank bag, um, my mirrors. Um, I don't have everything in here that I normally take, but I wanted to be able to see basically how I have this thing set up. Um, Moscow Moto is um, the, the Reckless 80, which is what this is, comes with basically three sections, sort of this, what they call the top, the top case, which I think is 22 liters. Each of the side ones are about 20 liters, uh, give or take, uh, I forget, but it's supposed to be basically 80 liters altogether. Um, it's extremely well made. Everything is, is well thought out. Um, uh, all over the the bike there or the the luggage there are what they call the molly uh, type type uh, um, connectors which means this bag right here does not isn't uh, is just attached to this I can remove it if I want to these are, I have one on either side um, I generally keep them empty uh, so that when I go to the grocery to pick up something before we um, head out of town and go up into the mountains um, I've got room to stuff my food um, also put snacks and, and water and uh, the occasional other odds and ends in there. Obviously my top case I'll keep my phone and my camera and, and, and things like that. Um, generally it's my sleeping bag and other, whatever I can stuff in the top. In the sides I have um, tent, I have a cot, uh, I'll, go over, I'll go over the individual stuff later on. Um, my clothes, food, um, that type of thing. If I if I need to bring water, I have a uh, dromedary bag that I will attach to the back here uh, with rock straps. Um, and it's a four liter uh, dromedary bag. Um, anyways, that's that's the basics of of what I carry on the bike. Let's go over some of the more uh, specific parts that I carry inside these bags. Okay, let's talk about what how I carry stuff. Um, the way the the bags are set up. Um, is everything can come out um, very easily. So everything has clips. Uh, there's these are my tent poles. Um, this is what they call the beaver tail. Um, actually, you can go to Moscow Moto and you'll see much better videos than mine. Um, they'll show you how to pack and everything. I'm just going to show you basically what I've got in here. Unclip this. This bag is basically just held on by Velcro in the back. And what I carry in here generally. is my sleeping bag. Now in this case, I also have, uh, get it out of there, there we go, is my dromedary bag. I keep it in there because it's, it's, easy, it's easy to get to. This is an MSR, uh, four liter bag, awesome. I keep in here my sleeping bag. Now ordinarily I'll have other stuff in here, but right now that's all that's in there. Sleeping bag, which is a Marmot Trestles, uh, it's a 30 degree bag. Um, I have an 18 degree bag for, for um, more cold stuff. My tent pegs, um, inside my inside there I also have a saw that I can fold out, a little crosscut saw, uh, which I would uh, advise you guys to take if you're doing a BDR route or, or something more uh, rowdy than that. You may need it to clear uh, down trees or anything, something like that. So uh, you should have something to be able to cut through that. So in these, uh, in the bags on the side, I'll have food. I always carry at least one freeze-dried meal for an emergency. Uh, here's towel, uh, clean cleaning supplies for my for the food. Clasp full of one gallon. Uh, water bottle, 
tent pegs hammer it's very light just plastic uh, lighter for my stove cutting board and ugh, well, the whole bag didn't have to come out but I guess it did ah, there we go and my tent I always keep the tent and the pole separate because it packs easier now the other thing I have in here is a chair fits in this back little holster really nice it's easy to get in and out It'll be the very last thing I pack love it love having it let's go to the other side okay so the other side now this other one I had on the other side I had my chair this in here though is first aid and bike repair so I've got a small first aid kit it's not much but my brother carries more patch patch kit so that if, if I have to repair a, a tire I've got that toe strap you think you're never gonna need it you might take one this in particular is really cool my brother works for the local utility here a Vista and this is a nylon strap that is ridiculously strong and it, they use it uh, I don't know something about pulling wires through conduit or whatever but they throw it away when they're done so cool stuff pump which has come in handy uh, multiple times but uh, oh there's my bead buddy um, Anyways, an electric pump, I can connect it up to uh, the battery and pump the tires if I have a flat. Very nice. Also really good for uh, if you need to raise your air pressure back up, because a lot of times when you're going to go over really rocky stuff, you want to air down your tires a little bit. gives you better traction. Um, experts more than me will tell you that kind of stuff. Having that pump, really nice to be able to put it back together, put it back up if you're going to be on highway. And then also in here, I have spare front tube and a spare rear tube it's not if you're going to get a flat it's when uh three years ago when when we when i took this exact same same load out to uh to do the washington backcountry discovery route we got a flat on the fourth day it's really nice to have a spare tube because you're not going to always be able to patch it and that day we were not able to patch it we <laughs> one of the guys ran over a huge stick about about an inch in diameter and it just shredded that that to. by the time we pulled it out and it was really hot came out in two pieces ah oh, you're you're stuck no we weren't because we had spare tubes okay on we go so in our other package over here other holster let me move around this way okay cooking gear it's a handle for it um this is this contain this little bag that contains the actual stove. So I use an MSR. Gosh, I've even forgotten what it's uh, what uh, what particular name of it is, but it basically fits on top of little fuel canisters, and you can buy them smaller than this. By the way, this just happens to be the one that I have. Um, it's really nice. It's tight. Um, I have salt and pepper in here and a, and a, and a little base for it, but. Um, if you haven't guessed by now, to do moto camping well, you need to pretend you're backpacking. If you've never backpacked, you're taking the smallest, sorry, that's all a noise. You're taking the smallest, lightest stuff you can possibly get. Everything that, every principle that holds true for backpacking holds true for moto camping. Small, light is the best, is, is what has to be your mantra. This is my air pad. This folds out into a uh, full size person. It's uh, 72 by 23 by two and a half inches. Blow up, you can see it's about the size of a large beer can. If you're a PBR fan or something. Okay, this is just fun. Kung Fu. I bet you're wondering, what's a Kung Fu? It is a titanium spork. that you can make into a really long stirring spoon. Why would you ask that you would need a long stirring spoon? If you have to do uh, a uh, freeze dried meal, you have to stir that thing. And you wanna be able to get in there and get all the way to the bottom and get it all stirred up. This is the ticket right here. Some backpacking uh, gal that I met in a, uh, a store here that's actually is gone now, um, I was looking for something, you know, some type of, of uh, cut cutlery, you know, something to eat with. 
And she goes, I got just the thing. And she walked over. She didn't even work at the store. Um, you got to get this. <laughs> I mean, just for the name alone. Don't you think it's cool? Kung Fu. Must have Kung Fu. Anyway, sorry. I digress. Air pillow. About the size of your, uh, of your fist. I mean, it's just... A good sleep is worth its weight in gold. And that's why I have this last thing. This is a cot. Now I will, um, I'll show more, uh, show pictures of it uh, fully, fully uh, put together. But um, for some people, this is a luxury, and and I'll admit that, that in make, in many cases it might be. But for me, it isn't. I turned 62 this year. Um, I'm not necessarily having back troubles, but I don't want any. And a good night's sleep is really important for me. So. Each person, and I've mentioned this in other videos before, each person decides what's what's essential and what's non-essential. But for me, that cot is it. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about here is the tent that you see me assembling right here. This is a Marmot Limelight four-person tent. Realistically, it can hold two, but I'm using it because I want the extra space. It's not really that big, as you, you'll see as, as I'm assembling it here, but I like to have room to put all my gear in. If it's raining, you want to have room to, to change clothes and still be able to, to sleep uh, and not be constantly moving stuff around. Having the extra room is a luxury, but the tent doesn't take up that much more room than a two-person tent, uh, which would be realistically a one-person tent. So room to move is really nice. Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to list all of the specific items, the type of tent, the cot, the saw, all those different types of things. I'll also put it in the comments below in case you're interested. Um, this is just stuff that I've had. I've had it for a number of years. There's lots of different types of things out there, and some will work better for you than, than what I have. Um, but this is a good recommendation, I think, of the type of things that you need. And as always, your mileage may vary. Have fun.